guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i have just parked up outside of primark in manchester now i've been to primark not too long ago but it was the trafford center one and honestly it's just a lot smaller so nowhere near as good stock levels the homeware section isn't as good so i said to myself i'm gonna make the venture over to the city center one and have a little browse take you guys with me so today's video is going to be showing you what's in store and then if i do pick anything up i'll either depending on how much i get i'll either show you at the end of this video or I will do a haul for my next video. So without further ado, make sure you're set and ready, nice and cozy, grab a drink, grab some snacks, and let's go shopping. So just a reminder again, this is the Manchester City Centre store on Market Street. And on my agenda for purchasing today was basics, capsule pieces like these gorgeous vests, only five pounds, and these basic tees at just four pound fifty. Mega bargain. I love that camel colour actually. It was a really nice tone of like a nude that doesn't wash me out because it's quite dark. Um, loved these sets that they've got. The only thing is they're just very bold and bright and colourful. This was more my kind of seen the greys the beiges those are more my tones i loved this jacket actually 25 pounds this one was a medium it's quite oversized big pocket details on the front loved that and then also they had these jackets which kind of reminded me of like barber style jackets very country again 25 pounds quilted it's got the kind of cord lining they had these in black as well i think i preferred the green ones though um and then also i saw loads of kind of varsity stuff Yale University, these sweatshirts are like £16, nice and oversized. They also had the matching caps. Can that kind of like distressed varsity kind of vintage style? Um, really liked it, but yeah, a bit too young for me, maybe I don't know. Um, New York they had in purple, then they had the Harvard ones in grey and white. Then they also had some kind of Lakers style ones as well, a bit more athleisure wear with um the kind of like what do they call them? Like a unitard type thing. And then more um trend kind of sections that they have sectioned off within this Primark. They have had some jeans these are my go-to jeans see the distressing on the pockets they're just kind of that washed look they're the straight leg high rise at 16 pounds they did used to be 13 but they've gone up we'll let that be um as a result of inflation and cost rising but anyway i loved this denim jacket these jeans are really nice as well at 19 pounds those ones because they are from the edit range you can tell by the swing tags they look a little bit different i loved this linen shirt i think that open on top of a bikini would be really nice for on holiday i feel like just a good staple linen shirt in that shade is an absolute must in everyone's wardrobe then in manchester they've got a huge denim section again this is the pair of jeans that i like straight leg high waist 16 pounds and then they also had some denim jackets which i was on the hunt for they had a really nice light wash denim here they had some darker wash denims i kind of was after something in the middle but they also had black they had that stone color that i showed you earlier the quilted versions they honestly had so so many now the only thing putting me off they were 22 pounds and i feel like the buttons looked quite cheap they were very silver that was the only thing putting me off um buying one of those jackets i saw this gorgeous summery linen-y dress paired with the denim jackets i thought would um look really really nice how they've kind of styled it on this wall they also had this dress it's only 15 pounds but they had it in a powder blue this kind of bright blue is very much all over primark now this jacket love they only had the one size though extra large at 22 pounds and it had a mark on the sleeve so i did leave it on this occasion but if i see one in my size in future i will be purchasing it they've also got a central perk cafe at the manchester primark which i love for a little pit stop and then they had these striped cardigans in this gorgeous soft fabric super super soft this one as were these joggers in that same kind of fabric they remind me of the zara ones that i have and they were reduced to just seven pounds in like a really rich creamy kind of color perfect zara dupe then they had these um in the sale at just five pounds i loved this shade of green just a good basic throw on again over like a white summery spring dress when the weather warms up just as an extra layer and then they had loads of knit vests which i think 
think it's a nice transition because you've still got that knit and that warmth from the knit, but then it is a vest, so really nice for spring. Loads of different styles. This crochet one at £10, I thought it was kind of pricey, but really, really nice. And then they had all the basic t-shirt dresses, ribbed dresses, again, all the colours you can imagine, every single colour of the rainbow. They also had quite a lot of navy in stores um, today, which I quite like. I feel like navy is something that I don't really have too much of. So you may see I did purchase a couple of navy items. Love that linen top as well. Again, another great basic. And then they had this camel ribbed dress, kind of giving me skims vibes with it just being plain and simple, not much to it. And then I also paired that linen shirt with um, the dress. I thought it would look really nice together. Again, lots of pastel shades as well coming into spring. This really nice kind of pastel green, sage green. They also had, as well as this blazer, they had kind of suede trench. And then again, the powder blue um, in the blazer trousers. But this t-shirt... This is from the Edit range at £12. I know £12 seems a lot for a t-shirt from Primark, but trust me, they are amazing. Super soft, thick, weighty. I did grab a couple of these, I'm not gonna lie. And then I popped over to the vintage clothing section. They have a whole section. It's from the brand Worn Well within Primark, so you do have like a separate till that you pay for your items there. Lots of, again, kind of like old school vintage items, lots of branded things like Levi's, the North Face, loads of Nike and Adidas, Champion. They're the kind of style, if you're imagining, um, they are with Within worn well but also got lucky with this because I found a couple of Levi denim jackets at £35 compared to Primark which was 22 not too dissimilar and this is what I mean by the buttons I feel like this looks nicer more expensive without the kind of cheaper silver buttons that's just my personal preference and I had a little try on this one was in an extra large but I feel like it fit a lot better than the lighter wash denim and also I was after a more kind of mid wash rather than a really light colored denim. So you may see that as well within the haul section for this Primark trip. Now look at that mannequin, what she's wearing. Had a quick look at the rail and I noticed it was the edit section. So they had these vests at 10 pounds, the bottoms at 18 and the shirt that they also paired with it was like a blue pinstripe, again at 18 pounds this one. I just think that makes such a lovely outfit. So I did pick up quite a few bits from the edit range. Now heading on upstairs and upstairs in the Manchester Primark has all of the underwear, the PJs and also again like dressing gowns, slip things but also the homeware section so starting with the slip style dressing gowns I thought they were lovely loads of like silky satiny PJs these striped one at 14 pounds and also the lipstick kiss bright pink is very much pink from Victoria's Secret I actually used to have some pajamas when I was younger in that print so yeah very much duping uh, Victoria's Secret and then this print reminded me of Dior it's that kind of like blue like bold blue again that we see quite a lot of blue within this Primark store some bridal bits as well and then heading to the home section starting with some gorgeous baskets they had some lovely vases lots of this kind of face print within Primark now these photo frames gorgeous two pounds mega bargain and they've got the pass part two divider thing so you've got two different options of sizes of photos and they had the smaller version to go with it at just one pound 30 and then i headed over to the bathroom section and i saw this range of products like a kind of divider for your drawer or makeup i don't really know how you would use that maybe even more so in a kitchen you would maybe find that but anyway storage jars at four pounds they had these kind of matching plates as well something that i can imagine you'd see in zara home loved this mirror box how nice was that i've never seen anything like that before and then i headed over to this kind of like storage section bathroom section and i loved this set this kind of ribbed white ceramic set i thought was lovely they even had the tissue boxes kind of like the white company ones as well they did also have a bin which was actually reduced so that one was only five pounds in the sale as was this storage box for again within a bathroom in the sale and these towels at just two pound gorgeous waffle again white company style 
less is more, love them at just two pounds mega bargain. Then they've got these wooden organizers at just five pounds in the sale. I thought they'd be good in an office as well as a bathroom, maybe for like your pens and pencils. And then I got lucky with this towel rail. This was an absolute steal. I don't actually have a space for one, but if I did, I would be buying that just seven pounds. Zara Home currently have them for 49.99. So head down to Primark for a much, much cheaper version. Then I saw this shell vase. I thought that was lovely for just five pounds. It was kind of displayed on like a lavender section. Again, another color that I saw quite a lot of within the homeware. So if lavender is your thing, there's quite a lot in Primark. And then I headed to the candle section again, the homeware bits, there's more um, vases and these faux tulips were quite lovely at just 10 pounds. Although I am a fan of real tulips, I'm not gonna lie. I think I would choose real over fake in that instance, but they were lovely nonetheless. And then this vase or like plant pot, I suppose you should say, is definitely not screaming Primark home. However, I am here for it. I absolutely love that. I thought that in our kitchen would be lovely. And then they had lots of colorful sections. They even still had some Christmas sale bits. They had this whole section that reminds me of the H&M candles and vases that they do that I think dupes the Baobab range that you can find in like Selfridges or online for hundreds of pounds. And yeah, you can get them at bargain prices in, in Primark. And then in the kitchen section, which is always a favorite of mine in Primark Home, they had this new scalloped edged uh, crockery set. So they had these small bowls, they had these larger pasta bowls at six pounds. They also had the smaller side plates at just, was it two pound, three pound 50, I missed that. Um, and then also these jugs, this wasn't part of that range, but I loved this nonetheless at six pounds. Good for a vase as well as a jug actually, really nice. The mugs, I was very tempted for the mugs because I thought they were lovely at three pounds. And then the larger plates, last but not least, were five pounds. Also loved this acacia wood um, chopping board, very small one, maybe more so for styling purposes. Jute runner at just four pounds. I've seen these on TikTok actually, and a lot of people are using them for their coffee syrups I've seen. So at just two pounds, you could grab a couple for like a vanilla syrup, cinnamon syrup, whatever you've got as well as obviously oil balsamic vinegar as well. Then as always, I love a good look in the acacia wooded section in the kitchen where at four pounds, they've got the larger storage jars, three pound 50 for the smaller ones. I have a couple of these already, uh, but I may be going back to purchase more once I get round to styling up my um, pantry. They also had a lot of their laundry stuff on uh, sale. This gorgeous pot at just four pounds would be good for like garlic and onions maybe. This washing up liquid, I loved this when I had it. I should have got another one actually. It was only one pound. And then they've got this new spring set, which is really cute. Um, particularly like the mug, kind of reminds me of anthropology ones that they've got on there. And these ones were only three pound 50. Um, they also had these, which I've never seen before. These stackable shoe boxes, great for storage solution. I love this Rattan lounge chair, 90 pounds. I always just think it's so hard to carry though through city center. Who's buying that without at least a strapping man with muscles to carry it? through the town view, but Tom wasn't with me on this occasion. Anyway, moving over to some Easter bits. These won't be in stores for very long, I can imagine. Loads of good like kind of decor pieces though. I love these kind of paper table eggs and hanging eggs. They were only four pound for the large one, which I've not seen anything like that before. And then the hanging ones were three pound for a pack of two. They also had the eggs, the hanging paper eggs. Again, H&M um, do some very similar to this loved this bunny stand it was only eight pounds but very very small so maybe just for some cookies or something then last but not least ending with these pots at four pounds i thought these were both absolute bargains well that was a successful little shopping trip i did just pop to tim hortons afterwards it's literally like just across the road from primark um so i grabbed myself a little grilled cheese some chips and of course, I don't know if you've ever been to Tim Hortons, you need the apple fritter donut. Wow. But anyway, that is me now done and my parking runs out in literally two seconds. So, well, I say two seconds, actually two minutes, but still two minutes it runs out and I can see the traffic wardens pacing around. So I'm gonna head back home now. I'm going to um, try on 
all the new bits I got. I got actually a lot of fashion things this time. It's glorious now. The sun's come out. It is so nice and, well, I was gonna say warm. It's not warm. It's nice and sunny though. Spring is in the air. Anyway, I'm back home now. I've got plenty of stuff to share with you. So I am gonna do that in a separate haul video for my next video, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna do loads of try on clips and everything, styling of the outfits, lots of fashion finds. Some really nice stuff as well. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I, um, I thought rather than just kind of like leave you with nothing and just showing you around Primark, I did pop into B&M and TK Maxx yesterday and picked up a couple of bits. I didn't vlog it or anything, but I thought I'll show you those within this video, just as like a little extra pull part. Starting with this, I did actually do a TikTok of the B&M trip and I showed you like everything that I popped in my basket. So you may have seen some of these, um, but naturally pet range that they've now got at B&M is gorgeous. They've got some lovely toys. I got this because I thought Barney would really like it. He loves tug of war. So that one was eight pound, kind of pricey, but. Anyway, also got these from the range. How pretty is that? A little linen bunny garland with the jute ribbons and little bunny tails. They were 4 99 I think. I also stocked up on some more in, um, in scent wash boosters. In wash scent boosters, should I say. And my favorite because they're white. And as you know, I like to put them in a jar like this that I've got in my utility room to have them out on display. So I got those, they were reduced down to 6 99 And I stocked up on a couple more jars for our, yeah? All right, okay, come on. Good boy. Is he gonna recognize that this toy is for him? Because Tom just came in and he brought Bunny up with him, but he needs to shoot off to the train station. So, uh, we'll say goodbye to Dad. Bunny, is this your toy? Is this for you? It says, I honk. See, I told you he'd like this. Um, also picked up uh, some more of these jars for our pantry, soon to be organized dream. And I got these two, five pounds for the tall one, three pounds for the small one. I'm getting a bit of a collection. It's quite nice to be able to do this. Kind of over time, I've been accumulating things so that when it comes to styling up these spaces once we've renovated downstairs and renovated the ground floor, I kind of already have everything. So I've not got to like spend loads of money. Well, I don't, not like you have to spend loads of money, but you know what I mean. I don't feel the need to kind of purchase everything all in one go because I've slowly kind of built up a collection of things to style up spaces and yeah. Anyway, I've got these two as well. These tend to be in the bathroom section actually for like cotton buds, cotton balls, Q-tips. Q-tips, that's very American, isn't it? What do we call them? Cotton earbud things. Cotton buds. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these ones are four pounds and I really like the wide size of them. So I'm, I'm quite, I like the whole non-uniformed mismatch of different sizes and shapes and everything like that within a utility. It doesn't have to be like perfectly every jar is the same. I like a mismatch and then labeled up. I think they'll look really nice. Anyway, I treated myself to these as well. This is the last thing that I got from B&M. Creamy truffle mini eggs. I remember these from last year. So good. They are just like, well, they, they're the exact same as, was it Celebrations that used to do, I think it was, Celebrations or Heroes? No, Celebrations, they, they used to do like a galaxy truffle and they discontinued it. I feel like the lighting's not very good then. But that's a bit better, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, they discontinued it and they were like the best ones, them and the Maltesers ones. So, if you liked them Galaxy truffle ones, then you'll love them. And then last but not least, my little purchase from TK Maxx. I, well, two purchases, I'm going three purchases. I've got, I've got this one. This is more of like a till purchase. Um, this was reduced from, well, RRP is $4.99, $2.99. I got this one for, it's just the Great British Porridge Company. I don't tend to do porridge, I don't really like it. 
but I got these more for like overnight oats or you can do baked oats with them, which personally is my favorite. I love baked oats. Kind of like more of a muffin texture. And then I got a coffee table book yet again. This is another kind of thing I've been gathering over the years, basically really nice, aesthetically pleasing cookery books for within the kitchen space. These kind of colors as well. This one's like a sage green. It's called Gather. Ooh, load of different recipes that sound amazing. Honey cake with coriander seeds, spelt, and orange. I'm such a sweet tooth. Anything sweet, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks good. I had a quick look on Amazon whilst I was in the shop for what this is online. It's 30 pounds full price, and it was that on Amazon. So when I saw it for 14.99, in TK Maxx, I grabbed it. And then, last but not least, is this gorgeous candle. Again, I'm actually kind of saving this one for on the island in the kitchen once everything's fully installed and ready to go because I just feel like the color theme and everything with it will really go in the kitchen. From Sand and Fog, love Sand and Fog candles. They actually burn really, really well, smell amazing. And this, it says, Please reuse me. This is like a uh, ceramic pot with an airtight lid as well, actually. Although it's not that tight, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, it smells so good. It's in the scent bergamot and olive. And our island that is yet to be installed is the exact same color as this kind of olive. So I thought that would look lovely with like a big wild arrangement of flowers in a vase on the island or something with this sat next to it, maybe on a little tray. I just can't wait to style it all up. Maybe even sat on top of a coffee table book. So yeah, this smells fab. They had a lemon verbena one as well, but the um, image was like a really light lemon color. Oh, that, that's the perfect scent for a kitchen in summer really really nice so yeah that is everything that i wanted to share with you at the end of this video i hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me to primark I need to do a bit of editing i'm going to film my haul tomorrow probably get that up for you guys next i'm going to enjoy these this afternoon and yeah whatever it is that you are doing for the rest of this afternoon enjoy sending you all my love as always thank you so much for watching and i will hope to see you very very soon in my primark haul Thanks for watching and hope to see you then. Bye guys.